Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will solve one problem related to the engineering mechanics. So, all these problems are from India Bigs websites. So, if you want to follow that website, you can uh, search about it in, in, in your Google browser. Just type uh, www.indiabigs.com and you will find, you will find the uh, uh, question bank for various competitive exam for preparation of various competitive exams right so let's solve this problem the problem statement says moment of inertia of circular section about an axis perpendicular to this section is so we have to find the moment of inertia of a circular section so first let's uh, find out the moment of inertia general equation of moment of inertia of the circular section let's say this is the circular section so if we want to find out the moment of inertia about the axis i x x let's say this is our axis x x and this is our axis y y so general equation for finding the moment of inertia about axis i x x for thin disk is i x x is equals to pi by 64 d raised to 4, d raised to 4 where d is the diameter of the disk right similar way if we want to find out the moment of inertia about x is y y then i y y is equals to pi by 64 d raised to 4 now our task is we have to find out the moment of inertia of a circular section about an axis perpendicular to the section. So we have to find the moment of inertia about perpendicular axis which is perpendicular to this disk and also we can assume that that axis is perpendicular to the plane of this paper right plane of this paper i z z. So let's say i z z so this is our third direction izz so for finding the moment of inertia about izz we use perpendicular axis theorem so according to the perpendicular axis theorem izz is equals to summation of i x x plus i y y right so i z z is nothing but pi by 64 d raised to 4 plus pi by 64 d raised to 4 so ultimately this would be pi by 32 d raised to 4 so this is our answer mass moment of inertia of a circular section about an axis perpendicular to the section is equivalent to pi by 32 d raised to 4. So I hope uh, you go, you get the concept of a perpendicular axis theorem. Do like, share and subscribe to my channel for such a more content and uh, see you in the next video. Thank you.